Hello and welcome to another episode of the Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys we are going to be talking about the brand new patch that just came out. 262 for PC. We're going to talk about all the details. But plus we're going to show you guys a couple things in ARC because I missed them on the last patch. And I happen to know it's on this one so I want to apologize for that but let's go ahead and talk about it. So this patch is more going to be geared towards Primitive Plus and the center and some of the modifications in there. But there are some very big changes in here that I want to point out very specifically. One of the biggest, um, one of the big things that they've done is they've changed the way that player generated maps in the center spawn alphas. They are now the same as the islands. So they've increased them. They've also changed the damage that the center bosses do versus the uh, island bosses and the dragon boss will no longer be present on the center. So you can't spawn in the dragon boss on the center. It's pretty much what they there's some primitive plus changes for those of you guys who like primitive plus and like to play it. I'm sorry I don't cover more of it, but if you guys can check them out right there, there are four of them right here. Uh, new Explorer, no, Notes, Crashes, and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and continue on for all those other ones that are on here for the center and everything of that nature. Uh, one of the other big things is there's a new achievement. This achievement is tied to other things and other achievement uh, type of rewards for it, uh, and that's for killing the guardian bosses on the center and that's actually how you get uh, one of the different uh, skins and we'll get to that later in the description of what's going on. Uh, one of the other changes is the Trudon food has been increased and there is a new implant that's been locked to the first slot of the inventory. That's a big deal. Another big thing is leeches have been added to the swamp cave which is kind of upsetting to think about it for two reasons. One is now we have the issue of trying to get leeches on us and getting diseased, uh, so it makes frogs even more important. The second thing is now you have to combat leech blood and all that kind of stuff coming out of Swamp Cave, which is whatever, or, which is what it is, what it is. But then they've also gotten rid of Arthopleuras or reduced the number of Arthopleuras in the Swamp Cave, so that's kind of nice. At the exact same time, uh, other stuff is related to single player, like they've now made it so that you're going to go higher when you teleport in uh, from the tether with a player position, which kind of makes me laugh because I remember back in the day when the game first started, when you'd hit a tether and whip you across the map, it wouldn't teleport you. It was terrible. Uh, you've died many, many times falling down a cliff and never be able to find your body again if you were a tethered person, which is terrible. And that's back when the tether was itty bitty also. Other things are uh, that have come out is uh, the volume of crouch to prone in and out has been increased by 45%. That means you're louder with crouch and prone, which is a big deal for those who are trying to buy it, so you have to kind of stay in there. Another thing is um, the placement of uh, some of the controller differences you guys can see. I'm, I'm trying to skip past this controller stuff because these are controllers for council specifically. So if you guys are council players, make sure you guys come back here and check these. Uh, they're more uh, quality of life stuff that you guys can see. Um, it looks like they're trying to fix player generated maps for councils because they had issues on councils for them. Uh, you guys can see that they've changed some of the boxes and things of that nature. However, um, some of the things that have been resolved is uh, in general is there's a lot of, uh, they said a whole bunch of split screen bugs were resolved. I don't know what those are. They just said a whole bunch. So hopefully some of them went away for those of you who play split screen and are looking at this stuff. They fixed the ATV not saving in many different scenarios and stuff like that. Um, they fixed where the Meglania couldn't um, climb on destructible rocks. They said it's possibly just a council thing, but it could be both. I've never personally ran into it, so I really don't know exactly what it is. Another thing is is torches on dino saddles now scale where true dons. That's one of the things I want to talk about. I missed this on the last one. They pod, pretty much on uh, a lot of dino saddles, not all of them, um, all land dinos and some air dinos now can have torches on the back of them. So I will show you guys that in the ARC app a little bit later and how to do that and everything and no worries. So you guys can do that. And that was on the last patch that I missed that I apologize. They've also fixed some of the uh, difficulty strings with the player generated maps. They look like they kind of focused on player generated maps, player generated maps on top of it. Um, one of the big changes is they've added 25 more elements to build the tech generator. So they've increased that stuff. Uh, also, the safari hat, the thorny dragon skin, and the Paris of Sal now can be dropped like all other skins. They attached just to your icons in there and everything. And um, another thing is, is they've changed the dolphin tamed run speed by 15%, so those underwater drops are going to be a little bit harder now that they've decreased the ability for you guys to catch up on that. And another cool thing is explosives and tech rifles now damage foliage, which is kind of cool if you really think about it. It's a, kind of a fun, fun thing. Uh, and then we have uh, attaching quality torches to saddles no longer converts into primitive quality when the durability runs out, so basically you can keep re-grabbing re them and everything. 
um, and they've added a special corner icon to the skin items to tell them apart from regular items, which again, I'm going to show you that in there when we give them because the torch is considered a skin when you put it on the saddle, uh, even though it's got a quality timer just like it normally does. So um, that's one of the biggest things. Now, uh, another thing that they've came out with is uh, giggles can no longer gather wood by eating snow trees in the snow biome. So that's the dark giving giggles even more awesome. We're super excited about that one. They did increase the lighting in Carnal Island Cave, um, which I'm really excited about. It was really dark in there, and I'm really happy they kind of modified that. Uh, but they also did increase the ability for torches to now be on saddles. So for cave splunking and stuff, that's going to be great to have them on dinos for saddles and stuff. So at the same time, it kind of kind of works in the same way uh, for those of you who are on Xbox specifically or on PS4 they have now added the fact that double X is to control weapons attachments in the instruction manual so you guys can have that on there um, they've done a lot of sound changes I'm kind of skipping over those guys if you hadn't noticed I want to note that really quick uh, reason I'm skipping over those sound changes only minorly changed the game a little bit they changed it for more functionality except for things like the crouch to prone those are big changes and that's why I'm trying to keep them in there uh, also now they've increased they've changed the way uh, they've made it more protective um, that's if you're creating a new survivor and there's already a survivor there they'll say warning this will destroy your previous survivor are you sure which proceeds just a default correction just make sure you guys don't delete your own ca old characters in case you didn't know you didn't have one also dolphins will no longer spawn in underwater caves kind of sad about that one those were nice to have spawns in there and it made things great um the tech tapajara saddle actually has a torch socket now so you guys can put torches on those tapajara saddles which is really exciting and we're going to continue on now here on the the U Tyrannus now has a faster rotation rate when melee attacking in range. And basically, it's just like the Rex a little bit. They've kind of affected that on there. Um, they've also increased the uh, chance of having Perlovias go underground in the tech cave. It was 50%, now it's 60 Five, so it's gonna be a little bit harder. Now uh, we are gonna talk about these uh, alpha, the Alpha Ascension. You uh, access the Bionic Rex skin after you get Alpha Ascension completed. However, if you complete both center bosses on any difficulty, you get the Giga Bionic Rex skin. So basically, they're kind of rebringing back, even though they're saying the center is a custom map, they're kind of bringing in the meat to play the, the custom map. So it's kind of a, a it is what it is. Uh, they fixed the Wyvern teleport into the Manscore Arena, which is super exciting, and I'm very happy about that, that they've actually kind of got that a little bit fixed up. Um, they've removed uh, all cooldowns for boss arenas for single player, for those of you who play single player. And then we're going to get to the little fun thing here now. Um, more eels, more trilobites, and more eutrypids in the underwater world. Oh boy, I'm so excited for more eels, because we needed more eels in the world. Not. So, um, those are there. Um, they've increase or reduce the slingshot fire volume by 10 percent so that's going to change a little bit they've changed the spawn range of the polar bears in the uh, ice case so you guys should know it's be about the same as all the rest of them and then they've removed non-iceberg caracous aka penguins um, from the spawns on the island so basically you guys will find them only on the icebergs now you'll no longer find them on those little shorelines right by the islands or right by the uh icebergs so those little tiny icebergs are no longer going to be there you will only find them on icebergs specifically so um they did change a little bit of stuff in the underwater caves so we're going to talk about that a little bit more uh underwater caves they reduced the targeting range by uh, the ai by 50 percent um and they've reduced the spawn quality of hard caves specifically by 33 percent and they've also now reduced the amount of groups for the eels so the eels now come in group two instead of six so that'll make the hard cave easier for underwater cave so that's kind of a nice little note there because now people have to do the underwater caves because they've now included that into the whole uh nightmare or not the whole nightmare the whole uh boss spawning things now they've included those artifacts in there so let's go ahead and continue to talk um um and uh let's continue on to this i had a little bit of a a, a brain fight for a minute there. i apologize um the hellesperonis no longer teleports and pops back up to the surface after diving uh so it doesn't just like teleport down and come back up they actually are going to show like the whole transition so you guys can hit them it's a little bit easier to hint them um they did change the center they made it darker at night uh, so at night it's going to be a little bit darker um, and one of the big things i'm really excited about is this right here um, they've returned from boss teleport spawn spread so basically what they're doing is when you teleport out from the bosses after you've completed a boss fight they now increase the spread range of them 
so that you have less chance of being stuck afterward. Uh, they've also de, um, increased the minimum draw distance of bows by 10%, so that's kind of not fun. Um, and really, that's going to be really the last of it. The last thing is, is uh, frames per second should no longer dip when you're painting yourself. So uh, that's 262 in a nutshell. That is everything. In it. So let's go ahead and jump into ARC here in a minute. And we can go ahead and talk about uh, some of those big changes that I want to show you on ARC specifically. All right, guys, so we're in my uh, tutorial world here, as you guys can see, with the uh, motorbikes and stuff. Those those ATVs still have some serious issues. You guys can see that one's just kind of doing its own thing. It doesn't mean they're perfect yet. But um, let's go ahead and talk about these torches and specifically what they do. So a uh, perfect example is that we'll just go ahead and jump into our Megalania right here. So if you guys see, I've got a torch in here already. All you do is you have make sure it's in the dinosaur's inventory. You just drag it right on top of there, and then you guys can see that torch is on there. It looks nice. It gives them a nice radius, which helps keep Trudons away, and in case it's going to be nice. So it gives you guys the options to do that. Now to remove the torch, because you guys can see there's a quality bar right here, letting you know that the torch is running out. All you got to do is unequip it, go to remove, and remove the skin. That's basically what it is. So then you guys can keep it on there, keep it off of there. It's totally up to you. I'll go ahead and leave it on here. And I'll just show you guys a couple more of these while we're in here just to try to give you guys an idea of what they're going to look like. So you guys can see this has got one now. That's another big torch right up there. So we've got those. Um, I did uh, want to go ahead and show you guys that some of the air dinos actually have these options on them too. So I put one in my Argentavius, and you guys can see Argentavius now has a torch on it. So it's a flying flame bird. Uh, this is including, and as I said, all land dinos. So we got some hyena dons here. We'll go ahead and pull that. I apologize for that loud noise there, guys. That was that thing. So you guys can have hyena dons with torches on them. Obviously, things without saddles cannot do them. And everything of that nature. So your dragons, your quetzals, and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and then we're going to go ahead, and I wanted to take my RG up top. We'll go ahead and go grab my quetzal, and we'll show you guys the ability for that one. Uh, one or the other, which I do not have my thing in there, which I got caught in this thing. Great, so we're going to have to... There we go. Got it. A little, got a little goofy in there. Let's go ahead and re-land. Let's get a little caught in the frames. There we go. Jump on here. Go ahead, throw a torch in. And as you guys can see, you cannot do it. That's what uh, the difference is. So you guys got to make sure you have your torches in the right spot. Nothing you guys can do about that one, so we'll go ahead grab our RG, take it back down below. So that's really the big thing, as you guys can see. That's where that skin thing shows up. See, I, I'll point out again while we're in here real fast. As you guys can see, that now tells you where there's a skin on. So if you have a skin on a dinosaur, it's going to show it right there in the corner. You guys can see the torches are slowly decreasing in ability here as they come through. You guys can see that they do give the same radius as a normal torch would, but at least they're on your dino, so you're not just throwing them on the ground. So if you guys are off trying to collect resources or anything, a forest at least now you guys can throw them on the edge of your dinosaur and at least have a torch while you're trying to mine and stuff and if you have like a hyena down you can put it on low distance and it'll just stick right behind you or anything that has a saddle of that nature so trikes and stuff like that while you're trying to mine all that kind of stuff um also the other thing i noticed is they've really done a good job with this right here um players that are passed out or anything you can actually see their bodies much easier and let you know that they're sleeping or if they're knocked out or unconscious or something of that nature between those but um that's gonna be it for this episode guys i hope you enjoyed it if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe to the channel go check out some of our other videos see what you guys like about the channel if you guys like this video you think it was now just give us a thumbs up let us know uh, also at the same time guys if you guys have any questions about this video about this update specifically or if you have any videos guys want to see that you don't see on our channel or something of that nature if you have an idea for a video that we might be able to do please let us know drop a comment down below and let us know about those comments but as i said that's going to do it for this episode i hope you guys have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next episode of lemur's corner